Hey y'all, I had to come over to the parts house over here. This is one of my parts houses. This is a 2J Supply. Uh, they are mainly a Westinghouse dealer, Duquesne, Maytag, whatnot. But I've uh, been dealing with them for years, man. My old shop used to be right down there. But uh, right around here, man, we probably have about, I'd say, heck, at least 12 uh, heat and air uh, distributors up and down through here. A lot of refrigeration companies around here. But uh, figured I'd give y'all a shot of that real quick. Uh, came in and got me some motors and stuff. Uh, I'll show y'all when I get home. Hey, y'all. We're back down to the American Standard down here. Um, I'm going to do a little video on the gas valve here. Um, usually I like to take my probes and stick down in here and in here. We should be getting 24. If uh, she don't open at 24, uh, you know, if you got 24 volts applied there and it ain't opening, you know you've got a bad gas valve. Um, I usually, like I said, stick my probes in here, but uh, it's got this little plastic terminal on it and uh, I don't want to risk breaking breaking the plastic on this thing but same simulation here but uh, it'd be a 24 feed and you'll see that how uh, she'll shut herself down after she realizes that gas valve ain't opening here take a peek all right let's go we got the sequence of operations going inducer's going to kick click on the pressure switch listen click all right now the igniter's going to kick here we go igniter's glowing now, that gas valve should be clicking. Let's see if we get 24. As soon as she clicks, we'll get 24. Click. There we go. Now she's going to shut herself down because she ain't got no gas. Watch, you can see the igniter went out. Okay. With our little test procedure, we determined we had a bad gas valve. All right, now let's, uh, let's uh, review the order of operations again. All right, here we go. Inducer motor. You can't hardly hear that click now that we got the door on, but there she goes, a little tiny click. And here we go, hot surface ignition. There she is, she's glowing. Now we're gonna hear that click on the gas valve. And that gas is gonna open up. Come on, baby, click. There she goes, she's open. Fire and hole. Alright, so now we know. Uh now we're waiting for that uh, heat exchanger to get good and toasty, and then uh, the blower motor is going to kick on. It's all a series of safeties. You know, one job has to perform, then the next job performs, and then once that, that next job is satisfied, the next job performs. Once it's satisfied, the next job performs. It's just, uh, it's all safeties. It's to keep everybody safe. So, all right, about time for that blower to kick. It's always the longest 45 seconds. go girl and there we go that's it in a nutshell okay y'all let's see what else we can do this gas valve all right okay y'all we just uh, did our little electrical test on the uh, on the gas valve there and I've shut the gas down on the uh, on the furnace here and I figure we'll uh, let's uh let's do a little may line test a little manometer test um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this inlet port screw here out and uh, <clears throat> we should be getting this on natural gas I believe it's like seven inches water column we should be getting in give or take uh, you know give or take I mean it might not be dead on seven but uh, I guess for uh, for uh, propane it's gonna be around 12 inch water column okay y'all uh, let me get this doodah out right here and uh, we'll get after her but uh, I better set this camera down man because I drop that screw man we're gonna be in a world hurt all right y'all got the little screw out of the gas valve uh, glad I got this little magnet tray from Harbor Freight man it uh, saved my butt on uh, not losing stuff but uh, anyway uh, got those holes that hose on this valve here like uh, what I got up there at uh, the Home Depot the other day and uh, got the manometer hooked up ready to rock we have the gas off now let's go with the gas on here we go should be around seven and you can perform this test with the with the furnace off. We're just checking the gas pressure coming in. Hell, I think we're pretty good, guys. Man, I'm digging this main line. Okay, y'all, let's uh, let's try another test. All right. Okay, y'all, we uh, concluded our uh, inlet gas pressure test and came up with around seven. That's what we was looking for. 
and uh, everybody knows it's been in trade a while that we should get like three three point uh, five inches of water column on our uh, on our uh, gas manifold pressure test here um, and that's what it's saying uh, I can't really read back in there real good man I don't know why they stick it back in there it's like 80,000 BTUs at 3.5 inches of water column manifold pressure okay all right y'all and like I said I suggest y'all you know take a little peek at that and uh, see what you what, what you got on your furnace okay well, let's uh, get after it we're at the outlet side now uh, there's that screw back here and uh, <clears throat> let me uh, let me turn the camera off and get that screw out real quick uh, I, you know if I drop that man like I said we're gonna be in a world of hurt but uh, what I was gonna tell y'all too is uh, we're gonna have to remove this burner box cover or you're supposed to remove the reference head but I'd rather remove the burner box cover that way I can monitor and look at my flames um, the reason you do that is because the manometer and the burners have to be at the same atmospheric pressure for this to uh, read correctly. All right, let me get after this and uh, uh, we'll take a peek. All right. Okay, y'all, we've uh, got our uh, manometer hooked up here and uh, we've got it on the outlet side of our gas valve. And uh, I reckon we're ready to rock. Let's, uh, let's test her out. We're going hot, y'all. We're looking for 3.5. All right, order of operation. Producer motor, pressure switch. Should start glowing here in one second. That hot surface igniter. There we go. We we'll ought to hear a click, and it's going to be time to get our reading. Looking for 3.5. All right, y'all. Let's see. We got 3.39. Almost four. All right. Uh, to make the adjustment, here's your adjustment screw here. We'll have to pop this loose and uh, make our little adjustment there. So, uh, okay, y'all, uh, I'm bumping her up just a hair, man. This thing is just really precise here. I'm not going to get crazy with it. We're looking for 3.5. I'm stopping right there. 3.49, guys. All right. Like I said, I am digging this manometer. Heck yeah. All right, y'all. That's, uh, that's a wrap on that. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all, I got the set screw back in there covering the uh, adjustment screw. Furnace is fired up. Blower motor's kicking. We are in the heating mode. Just wanted to check her again. Uh, you know, we were looking for 3.5. We're at 3.47, 3.48. I just didn't want to go over, y'all. But, uh, man, I, I can't help it. I just get so excited doing this. Oh, well. All right, man. I think we're good. Hey Jason, thanks for turning me on to this brother. I love this manometer, bro. Hey y'all, I almost forgot, man. Uh, yeah, I was uh, at the parts house this morning uh, replacing my half horsepower motor that I put on uh, the other day where the uh, high limit went out and uh, had to replace her. And uh, I know my one buddy, uh, nothing to it, is going to be a little bit upset with me, man. But I had to go back with a diverse tech. I couldn't beat the price on it, man. The guarantee, too. But uh, I'm a A.L. Smith fan too, brother. But uh, anyway, too, uh, got another brother on here. Gonna be a little upset too, but uh, daggone it, man. I bought me uh, two uh, rescue motors, man. And these are, uh, these are for, uh, you know, me when I'm out in the country and it's 12 o'clock at night and I can't get to something. And this way I can, uh, if I need a half horsepower motor, a third or a quarter or a fifth or a six horsepower motor, I got it. And as for the same thing with this condenser fan rescue motor, man, uh, if I need a third, a quarter, a fifth, or a sixth, man, I'm ready to rock. Uh, you know, these are that that that's the reason I got those. But uh, anyway, got the proper capacitors to go along with them, so I can change speeds. Got me some uh, high limit safeties. Got me some flame sensors and whatnots, man. But. Uh, 
dude don't want to sound sappy man but uh, this is my 50th YouTube video and I want to thank all my HVAC brothers man you all don't know what you all have helped me do yeah I really appreciate it man uh, there's there's a select few y'all that have been there for me and I, I, I certainly do appreciate it man and let me tell you thank you so much I reckon I'll talk to y'all later bye